Yo, 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 man. Got some more updates on this uh, Young and Ace thing, man. And uh, it's not looking good. Um, Julio, Julio, you know, they always making diss songs with each other back and forth with their groups and whatnot. And it's, it's ugly. Um, they said that uh, the people that did it, they went to the gas station right afterwards. I mean, they said there's cameras everywhere. Uh, so. Uh, it's not looking good. Uh, we got to stop the violence, man. We got to stop the violence, come together, man, network, and make stuff happen, man. I got to show y'all another clip. Y'all check this one out. You the liability, so, you the brand. Even with me, I'm a brand. Like, I'm not finna risk everything. I got bills to pay. I got my mama. She need me. You know, there's so much going on. Like, if they lose me, then it's nothing. Everything over with. Back to ground zero, you know what I'm saying? So I'm the brand. I got to protect right. that. Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us live. So, Lenny, what does the community have to say about all the violence? This is a lot. Mm -hmm. Good evening, John. Many witnesses say that they were on the edge of danger. Their sense of safety has been shattered when they heard the gunshots and then saw one of the victims fighting for their life. A new Tampa community at the center of a crime scene. A man found dead inside the Portofino apartments on New Tampa Boulevard. I just heard tires screeching, and then next thing I know, gunshots. Two, I think, like boom, boom. Witnesses say they saw a man running from the neighborhood. He falls down, right, in front of the gate. Turn around and started running away. And then I heard loud screeching of tires, so loud. Then more violence just a few miles away at this Bank of America on Bears Avenue. Police found a car and two men one was shot and killed. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced, I've ever seen. It gives me chills. It makes my hands sweaty because, like I said, this is Wesley Chapel. This shooting comes just four days after another man, Kyle Prisco, was shot and killed in New Tampa on Regents Park Drive. Many still in disbelief. There's no shootings, bank robberies, people getting carjacked. That doesn't happen here. Now, Victoria Wolf coping with her loss as a memorial continues to build. His best friend. We were going to go see him at the graveyard. And I guess I just got here too late. Because now I got to go see Kyle at the graveyard. And tonight, police say that the two victims from today's shooting knew each other. They say it was not a random act. At the same time, another investigation underway after police found a decomposed body near New Tampa Nature Park. But many questions remain because there's no word on who that person was or how they died. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal 8 on your side. One more young life has been lost to the dispute in the Florida rap scene. Recently, 26-year-old Julio Fulio was shot and killed while having a birthday celebration. It was a similar scenario to the Pop Smoke shooting, as Fulio posted his location to his story just hours before the shooting took place. Everyone is wondering who is behind it, and Youngin Ace appears to be the primary suspect following his diss track and some deleted posts that everyone is talking about. As the same day the shooting went down, Youngin Ace posted in a now-deleted tweet, that boy going back the same day he came in. And this captured the attention of the entire internet with various posts like, LOL they snitch on themselves. All these dudes incriminating themselves on social media. This is the culture y'all be talking about. This tragic incident deepens the terrible history of his notorious rivalry with fellow Florida rapper Youngin Ace. There are rumors circulating that Youngin is currently on the run following what appears to be a song in which he boasts of ordering the hit on Fulio. Just hours after Fulio passed away, Youngin shocked everyone by releasing a new diss track called Do It and posting a tweet that seemed to make fun of Fulio's passing. The two rappers and their respective crews aces, ATK and Fulio's KTA, have a long-standing rivalry that is evidenced by this most recent tragedy. Additionally, Fulio and Youngin have both lost brothers and other friends and family members.
Okay, y'all gonna got me out of bed because at this point I'm getting death threats. Um, I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting text messages. And I just gotta let y'all know what it is. Like, I had nothing to do with Fulio's death. Fulio, me and Fulio was texting. He came to my event. Um, you know, he popped out. He was in a section. He had him a bottle. And then he dipped. Um, we did not know where he was going after that. Um, at the club, it was good vibes, nothing negative. So, you know, we, we didn't assume nothing after um but all this texting my team texting me it just don't sit right with me like i don't even feel comfortable walking out of my own house right now you know because of this whole situation because i just feel like you know y'all fans are being hotheads or whatever whatever the situation may be and the only reason i'm really talking about it right now is because you know me and my team were receiving all these nasty messages especially you know from people that don't know what happened don't know the situation at you know at our event it was good vibes nothing negative and that's what you know that's what we can say we're sending our heart out to his family and his friends especially the other three people who got shot as well and we just not you know we're gonna keep it at that we ain't had nothing to do with it there was no setup there was no nothing